Yeah, good evening, everybody. I'm uh, grateful to Tamil Nadu Thinkers Cell for giving me this opportunity to speak. And on a, an occasion which is uh, to the heart of all the Indians and to many of uh, those who believe in Lord Ram, I believe uh, the state president is also uh, part of the uh, uh, one of the speakers. So my uh, respected uh, president, Mr. Annam Malai, the organizer, Mr. Sundar Raman, vice president of the Thinker Cell, Mr. Jagannathan, state secretary of the Thinker Cell, and the guest speaker, Mr. B. R. Srinivasanji. So uh, I'm grateful to all of you for giving me this opportunity. I have been uh, asked to speak on this great occasion, which is happening after 500, 500 years. And it's been a long wait. But again, it shows the continuous faith in Lord Ram that has allowed this to continue this uh, kind of a uh, you know movement which uh, started which is you know continued for more, more than 500 years and today we all are going to witness the pran pratishtan which is uh, uh, again a great occasion which will be uh, you know, uh, which will be done pran pratishtan will be done by the prime minister of india and nobody else so let me just speak uh, on Lord Ram, and uh, and I think the best words for Lord Ram is uh, given by Swami Vivekananda, who says the embodiment, the Lord Ram is the embodiment of truth, of morality, the ideal son, the ideal husband, and above all, the ideal king. He is a symbol of the victory of right over the evil. And Lord Ram characterizes how a man should fulfill his moral commitments and should strictly follow his limits so that social order can be maintained. And that's the reason we call Lord Ram the Maryada Purushrutam, which means the man of limits. And <clears throat> therefore, if uh, we take it a little further, I think uh, we must understand that in today's yug, the period that we all are living, and we all see around us, not necessarily that it is happening in every family, but the families are breaking down. The brother and brothers are becoming enemies, or they're fighting among themselves for various reasons they're fighting. The son doesn't respect the parents, and the only solution that we follow the idol established by Sri Ramji, I think that's the way the new world or the new uh, era will develop and the respons responsibilities in the idol way will come around us. The Lord Ram is the king. When he was a king, then he did not take a moment to abandon his wife, but because he was acting as a king. That is a responsibility. And equally, when he was a husband, he never saw uh, an, another woman. And uh, if you look at a brother, he was his friend. And uh, if you judge Lord Ram, then he does not make any difference between normal people and Lakshman. Lord Ram always believed in uh, the public and that is what he worshipped. And that is very important. If we worship the people, we worship Lord Ram. And uh, if you have to take it a little further, I, would, I can only say, we have to be good friends, so Ram is important. We have to become good sons, then Ram is necessary. If we have to become good father, so Ram is necessary. If we need to become a good husband, then Ram is necessary. We have to be good friends, so Ram is important. We have to become good rulers, so Ram is necessary. If we are to become the best person, then Ram is necessary. And this is the reason 
The idol established for Ramji in today's time is very relevant and very important. Let me add, because uh, we all have time limits today on the X space and uh, the opportunity given by to me. Uh, let me add this, that uh, the rulers of today, what we have seen uh, in the, that the rulers of today have actually forgotten the culture and the heritage of India. And if you look at the culture and heritage of India, we are reminded of the idols of Lord Ram. But if this culture and heritage is uh, combined with the development, and that is something which our Prime Minister Modi ji has been able to establish. And therefore, when we look at the culture, heritage and development, Ayodhya is the best example I can give because I come from Uttar Pradesh and I have seen how things are changing there. It is estimated that 55,000 crores worth of, you know, business will be transacted on 22nd of January. That in itself speaks volumes. If one has to look at the streets, they have been developed. There are There is an airport which has come up. There is a railway station which has come up in Ayodhya. Many hotels are coming. A seven-star hotel is coming up in Ayodhya. So there is a lot of development which is happening, which adds to uh, employment also. So therefore, if we look at how to uh, uh, bring a, a combination of uh, culture, heritage, and development, then the best example is from the idol of uh, following the, uh, the principles of Lord Ram. And that is what we are seeing in Ayodhya. And that is exactly what we will see in Pran Pratishtan on 22nd of January. Let many other politicians speak who don't want, who wish not to come. Let, let them not come. We shouldn't get bothered. This is a great moment for all Indians, for all Hindus who believe in Lord Ram. And therefore, I would, I can only say as part of the government of Uttar Pradesh that you all will be welcome. And certainly between Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh, since Lord Ram was born in Ayodhya, in Uttar Pradesh, we have a strong bonding with Tamil Nadu because of the Ram Setu, Rameshwar, that the way, you know, if that was not there, then he, the Lord Ram, would have not uh, fulfilled his duties as a good husband to bring uh, Ma Sita back from what is now called Sri Lanka, but that time Lanka. So I think it's a great opportunity. And once again, I thank you all for giving me this opportunity. And uh, I can, and let me only say that uh, this sir your uh, voice is not audible I thank uh, uh, Siddharth Nath Singh uh, Sarji for uh, uh, declaring opening this uh, particular session of Ayodhya Chronicles. Uh, it is planned to take place from uh, today till uh, Jan 22nd uh, on a daily basis with unique speakers. <coughs> on this auspicious day of Pongal, uh, with the blessings of our uh, State President Ranamali Ji and my thinker cell State President Advocate uh, Shelby Damodar Avargal, who is also joined us here. And the team of elite members from the TNBJP Thinker Cell, we feel very delighted that somebody from Uttar Pradesh place uh, the, the state where the function is going to take place at, at your level. Now. Siddharth Nath Singh, sir, I take this pleasure to introduce also because sir, uh, considering the time Sarah started his session straight away, Sarah has served as a cabinet uh, level minister in the government of Uttar Pradesh and is also a 
grandson of uh, the former prime minister of india lal bahadur shastri avargal thank you so much sir it, it is uh, we will not be able to express uh, how with the small request of time you have accepted to uh, declare this particular session open and also uh, accepted to join us on this particular occasion thank you so much sir thank you thank very you. much mr thank sundra you. thank you so much sir so over to jagannathan for uh, introducing the first speaker of uh, the day of the series mr b r sinivas thank you anna thank you adarniya siddharth nath singh ji and uh, greetings to all vanakkam uh, may I now have the privilege of uh, introducing b r sinivas who is a full time political strategist and commentator over the last 2 and 1/2 years he has appeared in over 250 prime time debates and interviews he is also a very active columnist and part of the editorial team of yuva bharati magazine of the vivekananda kendra before becoming a political strategist and commentator he was part of the corporate world for 17 years and he has expertise in domains like artificial intelligence machine learning and banking welcome uh, br srinivasan ji uh, to this ayodhya chronicle series which we are starting today over to you sir uh, thank you jagannathan ji uh, first of all <clears throat> my thanks to the tamil nadu bjp thinkers cell for having me as a speaker in this uh, wonderful series called ayodhya chronicles i truly uh, find this as a great blessing Uh, and a privilege and a honor to be uh, speaking on this occasion especially on this day of pongal and makar sankranti so uh, pongal makar sankranti uh, wishes to everybody uh, and how uh, pongal is uh, celebrated across the country in different names it's one festival one nation but many names as we know uh, and how festivals unite india it is only appropriate that we start this ayodhya chronicles today Uh, as lord ram unites india like no one else does uh, when i say that uh, i imply it from the point of uh, sacred geography uh, uh, the sacred land as to how ramayana and mahabharata have been a unifier uh, in a country uh, if you just look at the geography of ramayana uh, you will know that uh, it traveled from the north of india say from ayodhya nepal and other northern cities where the uh, history of ramayana started and it traveled all the way to sri lanka uh, touching tamil nadu through many places especially rameshwaram so the north and south uh, unifier is ramayana and if you analyze mahabharata uh, you will know that it unifies the west and east so the story the history of mahabharata travels from gujarat uh, dwaraka to uh, the northeastern states assam especially uh, where there are uh, sections of the mahabharata happens so if you put together ramayana mahabharata it uh, completely unifies the country across north south east and west and in an age where people talk about north south divide uh, or other divisions only one has to have a look at uh, ramayana and mahabharata study them listen to them understand them to know that this country has always been one across ages so that's the first importance of Uh, ramayana that it has been a unifier in our country uh, geographically politically culturally civilizationally and uh, through religion next uh, siddharth nath singh sir had touched upon the ideals of ram and uh, just having uh, to go slightly beyond that uh, so he rightly spoke about how uh, maryada purushottam and ram the reason why we call him maryada purushottam is that because he is an embodiment of lot of ideals that are very difficult to emulate uh, for a normal human being but ideals are being ideals because people cannot be perfect and they uh, keep an ideal and march towards uh, achieving that uh, ideal as such so hence ram is always an ideal in the sense as he is an ideal son uh, to his father he is an ideal son to his mother he is an ideal son to his brothers he is an ideal husband to his wife and i'll come to that later uh, or sooner because a lot of questions today come from a uh, women as to how he can be an ideal husband and he is an ideal king to his prajas he is an ideal friend to his friends he is an ideal uh, uh, warrior and he is an ideal uh, disciple to his gurus never uh, went against anybody's words 
so he is an ideal in many fronts and uh, one of ram's or ramayana's important uh, characters in life lord hanuman if you see an interesting parallel uh, generally we associate the word lord or god to ram and hanuman and uh, any any topic uh, uh, any uh, speech on uh, ram or ramayana or ayodhya cannot be complete without hanuman hanuman ji uh, sita saw ram as an ideal husband dasharatha saw ram as an ideal son bharata lakshmana shatrughna saw ram as an ideal brother uh, kausalya saw ram as an ideal son and so on and so forth but it was lord hanuman who saw lord ram as lord as a god and hence hanuman attains the status of a god others have remained as what they are but it is hanuman who uh, upon, you know, where we have many characters in uh, the history of ramayana it is lord hanuman who attains the status of a god because he saw the god in ram so that is also very important when you see the god in other person you also attain the status of a god and that is what ramayana also teaches and that is what this ram temple that is gave, being built and the prana pratishtha that is going to happen on 22nd post that the temple is going to be open for the millions and billions of people around the world when we go there uh, it is very important to understand these ideals and learnings from ramayana and uh, lord ram and then we'll come to the movement also later and in today's world is very is very important he is very relevant uh, as an ideal king we always talk about rama rajya it is not uh, a pet theme of one particular political party but if it is it is okay if other political parties have given that theme handed over in a, on a platter to uh, a particular political party the bjp that uh, rama rajya can be associated only with bjp it is fine we perfectly accept it because rama rajya has, has always been an ideal of all kings rama rajya has always been an ideal of many politicians it was mahatma gandhi who wanted to establish rama rajya it was even uh, the erstwhile prime minister of india rajiv gandhi from the opposite side who started his 89 yatra uh, political campaign uh, hoping to establish rama rajya so establishing of rama rajya establishing of ram's uh, ideal rule is always the benchmark for any politician of or for any government and hence he is very relevant in the world of politics today uh, we need to learn as to how he is important as a as a, as a ruler and what kind of just rule he gave to uh, the citizens during his time the next uh, uh, point that i will touch is uh, when i told that uh, ram is an ideal husband and a lot of uh, women today have a problem or raise questions as to how we can be an ideal husband so that is where dharma uh, the concept of dharma plays an important role when there is a conflict or when there is a competition between two dharma that one takes precedence over other and that is what today people need to understand when you have a conflict between your dharma as an husband and your dharma as a ruler it is your dharma as a ruler always that takes precedence over the dharma as a husband and that is what ram did if it was anybody else he would have given the same judgment or he would have given the same order and it can't be any different for him but today it is different today when there is a, a conflict between the dharma as a ruler or dharma as a husband or a father or a family member the dharma as a family member or a husband or a a uh, brother or a son takes precedence in today's dynastic politics in india where they forget uh, delivering justice to the people and uh, talk only about or think only about delivering justice to the family but ram was different and hence he he took the ideal way which is taking precedence being a king and be, his dharma as a king had more importance than being uh, as a husband and hence he had to take the difficult decision and if one reads ramayana one will know as to how he felt after taking the decision and he is a king who went to war to get back his wife and at the time and age when kings had multiple wives he was a egapatni varadan he could have very well had another wife but he went to war to get back his wife and that shows as to what an ideal husband he was there's another part that comes in uh, in ramayana which i will just touch and then move on to the movement and other aspects when ravana is killed ravana's wife comes and uh, wants to understand as to who this person is because ravana himself is a great warrior and how what kind of a person uh, can kill my husband she wants to know and she wails and she comes and when she comes and sees when she walks and comes rama is sitting on a stone 
Ravana's wife's shadow is coming closer to Ram, near his feet. And the, when the shadow comes, Rama lifts his leg and keeps it away. So Rama is such a person who's, does not, who does not want even to touch the shadow of another woman. That is the ideal husband that he was, which many people do not know. And hence, he is Mariyada Purushottam. So I just wanted to touch this aspect because today a lot of controversies and over the next one week or 10 days, people will talk about her as to how bad uh, Ram was his husband. The Ram temple movement coming to that, it, it, it is nothing but a symbol of our civilizational, religious and cultural revival. There is no two ways about it. There is no doubt about it. There are no second guesses that this is, we are on the cusp of history where we are witnessing once in a lifetime moment, as Siddhartha Singh said, uh, Siddhartha Singh Ji said, that it has been a 500 year struggle across the world. Nowhere, nowhere has been a pre Abrahamic faith or a religion been able to reclaim its original temple or the land that belonged to it from an Abrahamic faith. Across the world, nowhere else this has happened. And hence, this is a symbol of civilizational revival from Somnath to Ayodhya, to Kashi, to Mathura, there is no doubt that we are sitting at the cusp of history. And how this temple has always, temple movement has always been a unifier. Today, we talk about certain political parties not participating or not uh, coming or raising questions, but they will not be able to do it openly. They will not be able to uh, counter it in a political manner. And hence they are giving flimsy reasons. And that is what politics is all about. But this Ram Temple movement has always been a unifying movement. There were no two ways about it. Uh, across political parties, cutting across party lines, everybody wanted a Ram Temple there. Let it be a party like ADMK from Tamil Nadu, a Dravidian party. Let it be the Janata Dal of VP Singh. Let it be the Janata Dal of Chandrasekhar. Let it be the Cong uh, Congress of Rajiv Gandhi. And we all know how BJP was a pioneer and leading the front in this Ram Temple movement. It was Rajiv Gandhi's last press meet in Sri Parambadur before he was assassinated in the airport, a press meet was there in Chennai airport. A question was posed to him as to what is going to be, uh, where will, uh, what about the Ayodhya Ram temple? What is your party stance? He said, obviously we want to build a Ram temple. Then the journalist asked Rajiv Gandhi, where will it be built? He said, Ayodhya, isn't it obvious? This is a statement. And today his own son or uh, his party members are opposing or ignoring or boycotting the Prana Pratishta of uh, Ram Temple. When Chandrasekhar was the Prime Minister, when uh, the uh, other side went and complained to him as to wanting evidence, pushed by the leftists, the leftist historians, the Marxist historians and the leftists uh, asking for evidence, Chandrasekhar said that the evidence that you asked for Ayodhya is right in naked in front of you in Kashi and Mathura and you are asking for evidence in Ayodhya of a temple existing there. This was Chandrasekhar's position. When VP Singh was there, he had already, almost drafted an ordinance that was to be brought in the next day, taking over the, the central government, taking over the land and starting uh, the uh, paving the way for Shilanyas to be performed. And it was overnight because of political rivalry between Mulyam Singh and VP Singh that he had to uh, stop the ordinance from going to the president uh, to get a signature. So there was no opposition to Ram Temple. Uh, during the 80s or the 90s from any parties apart from the communist and certain sections of certain parties who were uh, opposing it for obvious reasons, political vote bank reasons. Hence, it is only appropriate that the Ram Temple is coming up after a 500 year, uh, 500 year old struggle. All options have been exhausted. There were mediation, there were talks, there was uh, political uh, initiatives by both the UP government and the central government. There was the court, uh, just, uh, justice delivered through court, through the first initially through Halabad High Court and now the Supreme Court. So it is only befitting that Lord Ram, who is an epitome of justice, gets back to his temple in Ayodhya through just means after going through all due process of law. Let it be political, let it be uh, mediation talks, let it be justice through all ways all options have been exhausted and taken forward and hence it is very ideal and right and correct that today Ram Temple is coming up, the Prana Pratishtha is hap happening through a just mean. If it was through any other mean, no, people wouldn't have been happy about it. Ram and just.
just rule justice are synonymous, synonymous of each other and hence it is very appropriate that it is happening through this way. It is, we are today seeing that cutting across party lines, cutting across caste lines, cutting across religious lines, cutting across linguistic lines, support pouring in for Ram Temple. Today we would have all seen a video where a Kashmiri girl, a Muslim girl uh, recited a Ram Bhajan in the party language. Uh, there are more videos coming up where people are happy and enthusiastic and gung-ho about getting the invitation. They are singing Ram Bhajans across uh, forgetting their linguistic differences, religious differences, uh, caste differences and what not, whether it is gender or anything. People are cutting across all uh, so-called fault lines and divisions that have been artificially created. People are happy and people are looking forward to the Prana Pratishta and it is again, as I told initially, it is only appropriate that Lord Ram being a unifier who has always been about giving a just rule is able to see what is happening in the country through peaceful means where people are happy when they are as happy as today when Ram returned to Ayodhya after 14 years and the Patabhishekam happened. The citizens of uh, Ayodhya at that time as to how happy they are. Today the people of India and people across the world are as happy as how they were when Ram's Patabhishekam happened in Ayodhya. So it is very fortunate that we are at the time today seeing this happy, unifying, peaceful celebration of the Prana Pratishtha that is happening and there can't be any other way or there can't be any other more befitting way to celebrate Ram today. And two more things that I'll just uh, touch upon and then I'll wind up. The important aspect that we need to see is uh, Shriddhartha Singh Ji just touched upon it as to the kind of potential it has got. Uh, hence, I'm just talking about it. The tourism potential of Ayodhya is going to increase manifold multiple times. The development of the entire state can happen through this uh, temple. The revenue, the uh, economic activity that is going to happen because of the Ram Temple. It is the entire state of Uttar Pradesh and the country is going to develop. One needs to understand that every, almost every important city in India have been built around temples. Uh, since I'm from Tamil Nadu, I can say that in, name any city in Tamil Nadu, that city has grown around a temple only. Let it be Tiruchirappalli, let it be Madurai, let it be Palani, let it be the old Chennai, old Madras, let it be uh, Tirunelveli, let it be Kanyakumari, let it be... Uh, name the city in Tamil Nadu, we can say that the, that particular place or location uh, or the region grew around only a temple. Similar is the case with many cities in North India. Obviously, a lot of temples were destroyed during invasions, but today they are still holding fort and the cities are there, are prospering, are developing because of the temples that they are centered around. And it is only appropriate that Destiny's Child, our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, in this time, we are seeing this happening, this Pranapratishta happening. In this, in this time, we are seeing, we, we saw the expansion of the Kashi Corridor, we saw the expansion of the Ujjain Corridor, we saw the uh, redevelopment of Kedarnath, so on and so forth. So it is only appropriate that Sri Narendra Modi ji being destiny's child is overseeing all this and we should be without, make no mistake, without political will, without political power, this wouldn't have been achieved. And hence it is, we have to be thankful to all the organizations, uh, the Parivar organizations, the BJP as a political party, the politicians, the activists, the innumerable uh, faceless car savers, swayam savers, the intellectuals who are on our side, the journalists who are on our side, taking brickbats at that time in, when, when the entire ecosystem was against us and numerous other people, uh, people who have supported, who have contributed to this movement and we all look forward to the date, uh, January 22nd for this Prana Pratishta and uh, I hope it is all uh, going to go well and uh, we all will be able to have uh, Darshan of Ram Lalla very soon. Uh, so thank you uh, for having me here. If you have any questions or uh, clarification, you can just ask me uh, for the next few minutes. Thank you, Srinivasan uh, sir. Uh, uh, the Ayodhya Chronicle Slam, uh, January 22, uh, different uh, perspective I discussed Panala and Brina Suli or initiative, uh, uh, or historical perspective, and again, the Mukimaga set Pani Kurtu King Roman Andri. We are blessed to have you and also Siddharth Nath Singh Ji. In the Mukimana Ternatala, including Sindhyal Privin Manil Talever Shilvi Damodar Avergale. Puri 
फिल्मीजी केक दा எல்லாருக்கும் केक केक दे गुरुजी அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் மலை வணக்கம் தமிழ்நாடு திங்கர்சல் சார்பாக த ட்விட்டர் ஸ்பேஸ் மூலமாக இந்தியாவில் இருக்கக்கூடிய சிறந்த பேச்சாளர்களை நமக்கு இப்போ இருக்கக்கூடிய இந்த மிக முக்கியமான ஒரு உலகம் முழுவதும் ராம பக்தர்களுக்காக இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு அற்புதமான விஷயமான அந்த அயோத்திய ராமர் கோயில் கும்பாபிஷேகத்திற்கு முன்பாகவே அயோத்தியா கிரானிக் கிரானிக்லஸுங் என்று ஒரு தலைப்பின் கீழ் கொண்டாட்டங்களை எப்படியெல்லாம் ராமருக்காக இந்த உலகம் காத்து கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய விஷயங்கள் ராமரை பற்றி இருக்கக்கூடிய தவறான கருத்துக்களை எல்லாம் எப்படி இவர்கள் கொண்டு வந்தார்கள் அதிலிருந்து அதெல்லாம் எப்படி எந்த அளவுக்கு உண்மை என்பதையெல்லாம் இந்த மக்களுக்கு சொல்வதற்காக இன்று இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியிலிருந்து ஆரம்பித்திருக்கிறோம் இதற்கு மிகவும் பில்லர்ஸாக இருக்கக்கூடிய சுந்தராமனுக்கும் ஜெகநாதனுக்கும் சுந்தராமன்ஜி ஜெகநாதன்ஜி முதலில் நன்றியை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றேன் அடுத்ததாக எங்களுக்கு எப்பொழுதும் உறுதுணையாக இருக்கக்கூடிய சரவண் அவர்களுக்கும் நன்றிகளை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றேன் பாரதிய ஜனதா கட்சி கொண்டு வரக்கூடிய அத்தனை நல்ல விஷயங்களிலும் ஏதாவது ஒரு குறைகளை மட்டும் சொல்வதற்காகவே இடதுசாரி சிந்தனையுடன் இருக்கக்கூடியவர்களுக்கெல்லாம் பலவிதமான பேச்சாளர்களை கொண்டு தமிழ்நாடு திங்கர்ஸில் பலவிதமான நிகழ்ச்சிகளை நடத்தி கொண்டு வருகிறோம் ஏற்கனவே தமிழ்நாடு டைலாக்ஸில் எங்களுக்காக வந்து சிறப்பு விருந்தினராக கலந்து கொண்ட பி ஆர் சீனிவாசன் சார் அவர்கள் இன்று முதன்மை பேச்சாளராக வந்திருப்பதும் ஒரு பெரிய எங்களுக்கு ஒரு எனர்ஜியை கொடுக்கக்கூடிய விஷயமாக நாங்கள் பார்க்கின்றோம் அதுபோல் அடுத்து வரக்கூடிய நாட்களுக்கெல்லாம் இந்தியா முழுவதும் இருக்கக்கூடிய பெரிய பெரிய பேச்சாளர்கள் பெரிய பெரிய ஸ்போக்ஸ் பர்சன்லாம் வந்து இந்த ட்விட்டர் ஸ்பேஸ் மூலியமாக பேசுவது அயோத்திய ராமர் விஷயத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய நெகட்டிவ் எஃபெக்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் களைவதற்கு முன்மாதிரியாக இருக்கும் என்பதுடன் இன்று மிக முக்கியமான விருந்தினராக முதலில் பேச்சை ஆரம்பித்த திரு சித்தார்த்தநாத் சிங் அவர்களுக்கு தமிழ்நாடு திங்கர்சல் சார்பாக நன்றிகளையும் அடுத்ததாக இந்த நிகழ்ச்சிக்கு வந்திருக்கக்கூடிய அத்தனை பார்வையாளர்களுக்கும் மனமறந்த நன்றிகளையும் நீங்கள் உங்கள் நண்பர்களுக்கு இதை சொல்வதன் மூலியமாக நிறைய பேர் வரக்கூடிய காலகட்டத்தில் இதை எல்லோரும் கேட்டு மக்களுக்கு அவர்கள் வாயிலாக தெளிவறைவதற்கு மிக முக்கியமான நிகழ்ச்சியாக தமிழ்நாடு திங்கர்சில் கருதுகிறது இந்த டிஜிட்டல் உலகத்தில் அனைத்து விஷயங்களும் எளிமைப்படுத்தப்பட்ட விஷயங்களாக காணப்படுவது சிறந்த ஒரு விஷயம் பி ஆர் சீனிவாசன் சார் அவர்களுக்கு மீண்டும் என் திங்கர்சல் சார்பாகவும் என்னுடைய தனிப்பட்ட முறையிலும் நன்றிகளை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றோம் சுந்தராமன் ஜெகநாதன் மற்றும் கோஆர்டினேட்டர் அனைவருக்கும் நன்றியை தெரிவித்துக் கொண்டு இது உலகம் முழுவதும் பரவுவதற்கு முதல் நாளாக பொங்கல் நாளில் எல்லோருக்கும் பொங்கல் நல்வாழ்த்துக்களை தெரிவித்துக் கொண்டு பலவிதமான நிகழ்ச்சிகளில் உங்களை தேர்தலுக்குள்ளாக சந்திக்கிறோம் தேர்தல் முடிந்த பிறகு வெற்றி கலைப்பில் சந்திப்போம் ஜெயந்த் ஒரு முக்கியமான இன்னைக்கு இந்த சீரீஸ் ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கோம் ஃபஸ்ட்டு டே எக்ஸலண்ட்டாக ஸ்பீச் இருந்தது பி ஆர் சீனிவாசன் சார் அவர்களோடது ரெண்டு மூணு கொஷின்ஸ் மட்டும் நம்ம கிப்காக எடுத்துப்போம் ஜெகநாதன் ஆர் செவன் ஐ கேன் கோஆர்டினேட் தேங்க்யூ செல்விஜி மிக அற்புதமாக பேசினீர்கள் 
thank you for always inspiring and showing us the way uh, participants and br srinivasan sir romba nalla pesninga mikka arpudamaga irundathu ramarin arul ramarin vaalkai is always an inspiration uh, members who are attending please uh, questions eda irundha kekkalam srinivasan sir eta kekkalam sundar raman sir sonna maadhiri day innil irundhu 22nd aadhi varaikkum we have eminent speakers indru சித்தார்த் நாத் சிங் ஓ திறந்து வைத்தார் நான் பிறகு பி ஆர் சீனிவாசன் சார் பேசினார் நாளைக்கு வந்து துஷ்யந்த் ஸ்ரீதர் அவர்கள் கலந்து கொள்கின்றனர் இந்த மாதிரி டெய்லி ஒரு கீ ஸ்பீக்கர் நாலேஜபிள் கீ ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் எமினன்ட் ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் டெய்லி கலந்துக்கிறாங்க டுவெண்ட்டி செகண்ட் வரைக்கும் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் எதாக இருந்தால் யூ கேன் ஆஸ் பி ஆர் சீனிவாசன் சார் தமிழ்நாடு <laughs> 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 Um, and people you know know about it uh, at a superficial layer how can uh, we take forward uh, this knowledge the connection the deep connection between rama and tamil nadu further to people i think relevant question ela ipo in the age la it is more easier than what it was 30 years back வித் நம்மளுக்கு இருக்கிற டெக்னாலஜி நமக்கு இருக்கிற ஃபெசிலிட்டிஸ் சோஷியல் மீடியா இன்டர்நெட் இட் இஸ் மோர் ஈஸி நம்ம இதை எப்படி பேக்கேஜ் பண்ணி எடுத்துகிட்டு போகிறோம் ஹவு இட் இஸ் அப் கோனு பி அப்பீலிங் பிகாஸ் ஒரு ஃபிஃப்டி இயர்ஸ் சிக்ஸ்டி இயர்ஸ் மேலே இருக்கிறவங்களுக்கு அந்த கனெக்ஷன்ஸ் தெரியும் அவங்க அந்த வில்லேஜஸ்லேயே இருந்திருப்பாங்க டவுன்ஸில் இருந்திருப்பாங்க ஸோ அந்த கோவிலோட அருமை தெரியும் அந்த கனெக்ஷன்ஸ் தெரியும் பட் லாட் ஆஃப் மைக்ரேஷன்ஸ் இப்போ நடந்திருக்கு அண்ட் பீப்புள் ஆர் கட் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரம் அதே கல்ச்சுரல் ப்ராக்டிசஸ் ரிலிஜியஸ் ப்ராக்டிசஸ் தேர் ஹிஸ்டாரிக்கல் கனெக்ஷன்ஸ் ஸோ அதனால் அந்த ஒரு ஏஜ் குரூப் இந்த ட்வெண்ட்டீஸில் இருக்கிறவங்களுக்கோ இல்லாடி ஸ்கூல் சில்ட்ரனுக்கு இல்லாடி தேர்ட்டிஸில் இருக்கிறவங்களுக்கோ இதை நம்ம எப்படி பேக்கேஜ் பண்ணிவிட்டு கொண்டு போகிறோங்கிறதுல தான் இருக்குது ஸோ ஆப்வியஸ்லி எல்லாருக்குமே அந்த ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டி இருக்குது அண்ட் என்னை பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் கவர்மெண்ட்ஸே பண்ணலாம் தர் இஸ் நத்திங் ராங் செக்யூலரிசமை தப்பாக புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டு தப்பாக இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் பண்ணுற கண்ட்ரியில் அதை பாசிட்டிவாக எடுத்துகிட்டு போகிறதுல எந்த பிரச்சனையுமே கிடையாது ஸோ ராமாயணா கீதா மகாபாரதா ஒரு 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 ஸ்டேட்டோட அவங்களோட ஹிஸ்டாரிசிட்டி அவங்களோட கல்ச்சுரல் ரூட்ஸ் அதை வந்து ஸ்கூல் கரிக்குலம்லே கொண்டு வரலாம் ஸோ வெனவர் த பார்ட்டி இஸ் கோடு கம் டு பவர் இன் தமிழ்நாடு தே கேன் மேக் இட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த கரிக்குலம் அதை தவிர தெர் ஆர் பரிவார் ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் தெர் ஆர் அதர் ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் ரிலீஜியஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் லெட்டர் பி ட்ரெடிஷ்னல் மார்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ஈவன் நியூ ஏஜ் மார்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ஆஷன்ஸ் ஆர் குருஸ் எல்லாருமே இதை எடுத்துகிட்டு போகலாம் பட் வாட் இல் மேட்டர் இஸ் இதை எப்படி அவங்க பேக்கேஜ் பண்ணி இதை எப்படி அட்ராக்டிவாக ஒரு ப்ரொபோசிஷனை வச்சு அவங்க வந்து youngsters get to porangadla da the success of the failure depends but i think it is very much possible nama uh, we have survived we have lived we have prospered because of our storytelling abilities before because of our uh, cultural rootedness so and the storytelling ability you know and the cultural rootedness you know like nama or past or history pathiyo pesama irundirundona nama survive aagak mudiyadhu or civilization avo illadi or or religious group avo So, that's how we continue. So, it starts from the government or it starts from the individual, it starts from the family. Let's ensure that our family will be able to do it. Let's ensure our communities will be able to do it. Let's ensure we take it in our society. Then let's ensure that we take it across the state through political means and other means also. So, I think it's a multi-dimensional approach, a multi-fold approach that we require to talk about these things. Tamil Nadu, it is more challenging because of the Dravidian ideology that has been there for 100 years. But, or important aspect that i wanted to touch is the most common name in tamil nadu or most common names that are there in tamil nadu are raman and ramasami or kannan uh, any child kid is called as kanna or uh, kannamma depending on the gender so it is not going to be difficult once we get political power as to once we got political power at the center and in many states we saw the difference similarly tamil nadu we any get our political power varapodo when we kindle this spirit it will be much bigger than uh, a cultural revival and a regeneration and a civilizational reclamation 
will be much bigger than what we see in UP or Gujarat or Maharashtra or any other state. Tamil Nadu, it will be much higher because basically 40,000 temples or 50,000 temples that we are talking about and every city, every town, every village is dependent on the temple. So, Adnali, it is going to be an easy task once we get the political power. Correct, sir. Next question. Sir, sir. James, sir. Sir, 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 Subra sir. Yeah, that can go on you. Subra sir, looking la. Okay. Uh, Sir, Srinivasan sir, I have a doubt, sir. I think there is opposing ideology. I am asking the question. Now, if you have a right side, you have a right side. That is a widespread ideology. I think in the last 30-40 years, there is a lot of momentum. If you have a right side, they are limiting it to Tamil and Tamil Nadu geography. If you have a right side, it is very exclusive. So, and the Mari idea is Paravad on the Nam Tamil and the Mari Kachina Kumbodu. Is it becoming too difficult for people to understand Ram as an ideal person? A Namur Karla, Veru Karra, Ram and Namur Karra, Din Lam Point Rikia. So, in the geography, you order limit Panamudi the Rama, Ramra. Allah, so it is related to what Tinku also asked. So, in the Adamari, you may outside, I can say, sacred geography in Pakamudu, Tamil Nadu. Uh, Ramar Samanda Pata Kada Illa the Ure Kader. Whether Ramar had gone and the Urk Poindaro Ilio put a prachanella. But legends and myths around uh, uh, connections with uh, Lord Ram, Yella Uli Mer, Yella Gramatir, Yella Uli Mer, Yella Tauli Mer. So either when the superficial Arsil Kachikal, Siddhanta the Gaga, the Avangloda Vela, other Tadakumudena, Avangloda Arsil, other base Panizar. In the Kadulum, Lens on the way, Nigan the Murugan, Krishna. My own Abdi uh, bringer Pelala, Lati Maxa and Armstrong. So Ramar Gandhi and the challenge on the A in the thirty years are because of the Ram Temple movement. So Adamuna in the Maricadan, Asanamari, Ella, Weekly, Ella, Kudumati, Ramar, Ella, the Pere, across all castes, Ella, Samudai Makalimi, Ramar or the Pere Lamar Gand. So Abdi and Ella, Gramatime and go to Kovil Rugo, Ella Taulime, Kovil Rugo. So Adavande, Enikime, uh, intertwined other than the character other than the. In the 80s, the Ram Temple movement, the BJP growth, and the BJP growth, the BJP is the BJP growth, the BJP is growth, the BJP is the BJP is the BJP the BJP is growth, the BJP is the BJP is the BJP the BJP is the BJP is the BJP is the BJP is the the is the BJP the BJP is the BJP is the BJP the BJP is the BJP is the Krishna and the other people are not in the world. North India is not in the world. Krishna 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 is not so, I said, we have to accept it politically, so it is easy to get it. So, geographically, Tamil Nadu has a complete connection. There are no connections. There are no proofs and proof, evidence. There are videos, tweets, papers, etc. So, if you follow it, 
நமக்கு தெரிஞ்சிடும் கனெக்ஷன்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்குது இதை எடுத்துகிட்டு போய் கொண்டு போய் பேசுறதுல தான் நம்ம பாக்கி வேலை இருக்கு அதை நம்ம செய்யணும் அந்த பேசுகிற வேலையை நம்ம செய்யணும் தேங்க்யூ சார் மிக்க நன்றிங்க அனைவருக்கும் ரொம்ப அற்புதமாக இருந்தது வெரி நைஸ் செல்வி சார் தேங்க்யூ சோ மச் ஃபார் ப்ரொவைடிங் தி ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி அண்ட் தி விஷன் ஃபார் கண்டக்டிங் திஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அ ப்ரோக்ராம் அண்ட் வி தேங்க் the tamil nadu bjp unit all the members specifically annamalaiji and we all work towards make bringing in a double engine sarkar in tamil nadu under annamalaiji and uh, let inge annamalai anga modi ji let india and let tamil nadu lead the way and bring ram rajya in tamil nadu jai hind jai shri ram thank you jai shri ram jai shri ram thank you all